Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to a new demo today, Arctic Motel Simulator. Now this is going to be due to be released in Q1 2025. Never heard of this before, uh, but the developers, One Slice of Pizza Games, uh, sent me an email and said, hey, you might like this, and he thinks that you guys will like this uh, with his upcoming game. Now you all love the Motel Manager Simulator. I have a feeling it's fairly similar, but with obviously this kind of Arctic uh, background. It looks quite interesting what I've seen. Um, I haven't tried the demo yet. We're going to give it a go together. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys enjoyed this today, let me know, of course, down below. And then we'll put it on our list to hopefully do a series once it does get released. Uh, but a little bit about this. Have you ever been to the Arctic? Do you want to open a motel in the Arctic? Probably no to both of these questions, really, isn't it? Uh, with the company of Aurora Blizzards, Polar Days and Nights, Primeval Forest and Wild Animals, can you turn a rundown motel into a landmark in the Arctic? Now, I don't know how long this demo goes. I'm not sure what we'll get out of it. Um, but we'll definitely just try kind of half an hour and see what you guys think. It'd be quite interesting to see what you think. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's give this a go. Okay, dear stranger, you don't know me and I don't know you. I randomly chose an address and sent this letter. So when you're reading this letter, congratulations, this motel is already yours. Wow, I wish something like that would happen in my life. Uh, I have lived in the Arctic all my life, from a baby child to an old man now. I have always been accustomed to the cold wind, heavy snow, and beautiful aurora here. But today I saw a beautiful tropic island introduced to the newspaper. I suddenly asked myself a question. I have been in this cold Arctic all my life. Why not change my life and I still have a little energy? Why not go to some place I have never been to? I already have enough money for my tropical trips, so I have to give a random stranger a different life from today too. So stranger, congratulations from today on. Welcome to the Arctic. I hope you can run this motel well so that I'll be happy for when you lie on the beach. Okay. Ooh. Um, what about uh, hotel snow? There you go, that'll do. Alrighty, so this brings us uh, to the motel. It actually looks quite nice, doesn't it? I, I quite like how it is. I do believe we're going to have a shop and all kinds of things here uh, for us to do. And uh, I really hope this comes out quite early in Q25 because we could definitely do with another one of these kind of games. Um, just want to get a couple of screenshots. I'm going to share it on Discord for you guys as well. Alright, so collect all the garbage in room one. Okay, so room one. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You'll have many useful items. Modes that will help you use when you're running this motel business. Press tab for all the available. Okay, so tab will bring us into this stuff. It does feel very similar, but it looks nice if you know what I mean. Not that there's anything wrong with motel manager, in all fairness. Like, you know, it's, it's done its job, it's done well. Sounds like cars are already turning up. There's like a main road there. Uh, clean all the stains with the mop. Okay. Okay, if you hold it down and run with it, it it'll clean many. Very small room. Try changing the wallpaper of the room. Try painting the wall. Okay, so you can paint the motel walls and also change the wallpaper in the motel rooms. Please check the bottom left tips to edit brush settings. Okay. We'll have a look. Press Q and E for previous wallpapers. Okay. So that will literally do the whole room. They seem more like outside things. If any of you ever watched Ramsey's Hotel Hell when he's in America, this is the kind of wallpaper that seems to be in like all of them. I feel like this is the kind of wallpaper we may have. Uh, you can press M for paintbrush options. What the hell is that? Is that a texture? Oh, holy cow. Okay. Oh. Oh. Z and X to undo and redo paintings. Okay. Yeah, we probably don't need to be doing that. How do we just put nothing as my brush texture? <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, purchase furniture online, the motel computer, finish room one. So, uh, let's get rid of the uh, paintbrush. 
Oh, okay, so look, this looks like it's going to be the shop. This also looks like my living room, but, uh, and this is the hotel entrance. Hey, this is all looking good. I am definitely going to be sharing some of these screenshots in Discord, and, uh, I bet the guy's going to go crazy for this. Right, let's have a look. What did it actually want me to do? It wanted me to buy some stuff for the rooms, right? Online shop, furniture. Okay, hover over the tab for the requirement. So we need a single seat sofa, a lamp, a nightstand, a single bed, sink, and a toilet. Right. Why don't we go with that because it's cheaper? Uh, right. Okay, single seat sofa we've done. A lamp. We'll just go in this order because I feel like it's easier if we, we do that. Uh, then we got the nightstand. Uh, I think this will probably fit the room more, but we'll, we'll see what it goes like. A single bed, love bed. Oh, oh yeah, wow, look at them. Uh, king bed. I just want a single bed. Single seats, two seat, bathware chair, coffee crib, decoration desk, lamp, large toy, love bed, love decoration, nightstand, single bed. Sink and a toilet. Okay, well, you know, I think bathroom should always be white. White means clean. Okay. Okay, basket mode. Please use your basket when you're going to carry more than one item. The press uh, right mouse button on each item that you're carrying the basket. Okay. Daily summary. Okay, we've already run out. Our day's already already gone. Where might he deliver to? Okay, I've got to enter basket mode. I've got to stack them in the warehouse. Please switch to furniture placement mode and furnish room one. Okay. I do believe that we can we can go out hunting and stuff to use the animals for meat and all kinds of things for the shop. I believe. Okay, furniture mode. What the hell is that? Paintbrush, furniture, placement. Okay, single seat sofa. Right, we don't have what I'd call a lot of room in here. Uh, okay, you got to make sure you get the right actual one. All right, we'll, we'll put it there. Uh, how do we go back? Q and E. Alright, no. Single bed. And we do have a sink. Well, look, this is supposed to be the bathroom. That's right. To some extent. Let's get the toilet in. Apparently showers aren't too important just yet. Okay. Single beds already in. TV cabinet. Nightstand. One. Quite a big one. Okay, like that. And a lamp. I'm hoping it's going to go in this corner. Aha! Is that all they need? Prepare room supplies for room one. I don't actually know what room supplies means as such. Ready for rental? No. Room furnished? Yes. Room supplies prepared? No. Uh, 
I don't even know what the room supplies are. If I paint, can we just paint like... No, you can only paint out there by the looks of things. Okay, well, that means not a lot to me. Well, we'll stick with that kind of old look. Consumption of room supplies. Guess we use the room supplies placed there during their stay. Some of the items are disposable, such as soaps. Please put the excessive amount in the room. Okay. So, what have I got? This is soap. How many items do I need to put in there? One. They may have one bar of soap. Okay, now we've got to... Prices affect many things, for example. The price of a room is too high. Guess we'll not want a room service. Set prices wisely based on today's market prices. Market price updated daily. Be sure to check if today is the holiday or weekend as they can affect motel traffic. Wow, there's a lot of variables. I like that. That's well thought out. Your motel review score, your motel level and seasons can also affect customer tolerance and high prices. Some types of rooms are very popular during certain holidays, so guests who are willing to pay more for those types of room. Did you all get all of that? Okay, so we need to go back to the main computer room, which is around here. We need to go on the computer. Go to the price board. Okay, it's done at the price board. Sorry. Market price is 10. Set price at 10. I mean, that's what it is. £10 an hour. So may it be. Time to open for business. What, you want me to go all the way out here to the, the sign? Oh god, I hope I don't get eaten by a wolf or something. It's weekday in the autumn. Dun dun dun. Your motel is now open, you can clean, prepare and decorate the other rooms while you wait for your customers. Please wait for the guests to arrive and help the guests check in. Alright, well we might as well start cleaning up the other room a little bit, if we can. Uh, where are the rooms? It's cool that we can add, like, different things into the rooms and stuff. I think that's a pretty cool thing. There's some really good ideas here. I really... Oh, I, I do like it. Yeah, so we kind of got some sort of customer in now. I think that room is clean. Guests! Oh, hang on. Jesus, they're all coming in. The floor is dirty. An unpredictable weather of the Arctic. Guests coming in and going sometimes make floors in common areas dirty. You need to mop them, take care of your area. Cleanness is displayed in, on the screen. Okay, well, that's fine. I don't have any rooms, so... Motel guests will write reviews. The experience of the motel having high ratings will benefit your motel a number of ways. Okay, that's fine. I need two reviews, but right now I'm in a bit of a pickle. Oh, well, they're, they're just not going anywhere, are they? Look all these cars. Jesus. I need that PC to order stuff. <laughs> Okay, online shop. Let's take a couple of these. Okay, nice. Oh god, condoms, non-slip non slippers. God, all kinds of things we can put in here. All right, furniture then. So, we know what we kind of need. We need a single sofa. We'll just make them extremely similar at the moment. Um, we could put in a shower. Decorations probably wouldn't hurt. We can maybe get two of them. Two of them. Make everything look a little bit nicer. Uh, a room needs a lamp at the minimum. Uh, nightstand it needs as a minimum. We'll put a single bed. Do we want to put maybe a double bed? Is a queen size bigger than a king size? That must be smaller, right? Let's get a queen size bed for this room. A sink. And a toilet. What does that put me up to? 
a lot of money. That's what that does. So, is he going to check out over here or what? Probably. The motel is closed, but uh, eight hours. I could refuse to serve them, but I don't see the point. They don't seem to do me any harm. They just sit there. Oh. So it looks like we're going to have to control heating and all kinds of things. Oh my god, that's so good. I really can't wait for this game already. And this is another reason why I always say to you guys, I really dislike playing demos or prologues because I get invested and then all I want to do is play. But then at the same time, all I want to do is is wait for the actual full release. But then what happens is it gets saturated because a lot of YouTubers now, what they're going to do, they're going to play the demo to absolute death uh, until everything is completed that they can possibly do. And, uh, yeah. suppose it is what it is. Okay, so let's um, let's put something a bit different in this room, maybe. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. We need to go into furniture placement mode. And... Let's start with our bed. As it does take up a hefty amount of room. Okay, sink. Okay, just need a crapper. Oh, nice, I don't have to put like toilet rolls and stuff in here. Uh, nightstand. Nightstand 2. Probably should have put two of these in. Okay, decorations. They, this side can have a plant, right? For that. Uh, chair then, no. Oh, bathway though. I did get a shower. This room's gone up in the world. Love the way that there's no tiles. See, this is one thing they will need to change. Or is this like laminate floor? Is that what that is? We, we'll need to find a way that we can change like floors and stuff. Okay, guess checking out. We'll go look at them now in a second. Um, I mean, look, I think that's a nice little room. Um, yeah, that's it. Just take a picture of the wall. Because everyone cares for that. Right. Alright, I'm traveling room one. I have to say, it took me almost five hours to find your motel. It's ridiculous. I'm really sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed your stay. So do I have key for room one back yet? No, I'll probably have to go clean it, right? Okay. Room room two is apparently... Ah, didn't put the soap in. Can't do nothing about the soap. Very important commodity. Why is room two not furnished? What, what did I miss from it? Uh, we need to know what's missing. Let's just get rid of some of these people. Okay, so I've got the room key back. Is there a way for me to check what room, what needs what? Is it furnished? Yes. Has it room supplies? No. Is it dirty? Yes. So, I am definitely missing... Is it the bed?
Okay, not too bad, not too bad. We do actually have a shower now to put in here. Oh, I thought I brought two of them. Oh, okay, my my bad. But what we do have is some sort of decoration. Right, let's clean you up. Enter for more details. Okay, well, we'll worry about that in a second. Now I wonder, is it this bed that's causing the issue? How do I take the bed back? Okay, so after all of that, it was because of the bed. Now, I didn't realize I'd paused my microphone, so I was just talking to myself then. So it was P to, once you go into edit mode, you press P to the delete. Um, at the moment, we're only allowed to use the single beds. So that is the issue with that. So that's good. We need two reviews. Oh, hello. It's 120. How many hours do you want? Seven hours. Uh, you can politely ask the customer to leave. My bell doesn't ring. Okay, so are we gonna get to open the shop or anything? Oh okay, what else we oh oh we get to cook in this. It's like cooking sim as well. Oh wow. This literally has everything. So if any of you guys did enjoy the motel manager simulator, this is gonna be uh it's gonna be a lot of full game. This is definitely gonna be something else. This is gonna be real fun. Oh right, the light seems to have died off there. Suppose we got nothing else to really do until uh, at the moment, apart from clean whatever bedrooms there are to clean. So like I said, I don't want to go too deep into the demo. I don't know if they're going to keep updating them. Sometimes people, some of them do. Some of the developers keep going and update them. I believe, from what I can see here, we're probably going to get to open the shop just. And they've given us five rooms, but they all have to be single beds. What was this building? What is what is this? This is under construction, whatever this is. Maybe this is the hunting lodge or something. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay, so... Dirty clothes. The guests often need to use washing machines to wash their clothes. The washing machines can quickly earn you a lot of money. Ah, so they will use them themselves? It's going to be a lot in the full game. Okay, I like that idea. So this is going to be their kind of laundry room. Um, that they can do things. Okay, that's cool. At least it's not me and the run around. So we've got this and uh, Sunset Motel or whatever it is. Can't wait for both of them now. Right, we just tell everybody to leave. Unfortunately, I have no room in the inn. Might as well just shut the down place, didn't I? You're making a mess on my damn floor. Oh, you wanted 17 hours. Right, they're all done. Oh. Can't shortcut that way. Day and night cycle is a bit interesting. Okay, so that's clean.
Better move our soap over. Are you checking out, lady? You're in room one. Okay, so the motel store. The motel store will bring you a good income. Please buy the sellable items from the online store. The purchasable price items. Okay, that's fine. Easy enough. Online shop. Uh, furniture is sellable. Is there anything they wants me to buy in particular? No. Okay, so sellable items. Um, well, why don't we... What is this? Cookies? I don't even know what half this stuff is. We just get two of everything, if I can afford it. I don't know if I can. Okay. That we could. And then... Oh, I should have brought some more uh, hand soap as well. Oh, no. This might have been the room. Quite interesting to find out like what, what the hunting and stuff's all going to be about. I think, obviously, the cooking. That's where the hunting's going to come into things. You know, maybe we can make steak and sausages and all that kind of stuff. Which I think would be pretty damn cool. Okay, I think this room... Ready for rental? No. Because it doesn't have any soap. You can't... Can't be ready without your soap. Okay, so that's actually ready to go. Oh, we'll sort out this warehouse issue. Whatever's going on up here. Please wait for the delivery truck to arrive. The good packages arrive. Stack all them in the warehouse. Of course. Let's get our basket. And then we're going to put them over here. Go to the store shelf and put shelves, uh, goods on the shelf. Okay, we can do that as well. And the only problem I have... Are you checking out? Alright, we might as well clean that room quickly before we open the motel and have a ton of people just arrive. I think they got to decide with this rubbish as well. How are we going to... Garbage bin. Your garbage bag is full. Okay, this is what I was just wondering. The garbage bag does get full. And we can empty it. Is it in this little shack? Or is it behind the shack? In the one bin that's here. Did somebody come and collect it, did they? Oh, that's my arm on the top. I was wondering what the hell that was. Okay. Got no muddy paw prints, which makes a change. Give them a free bar of soap. Okay, let's have a look at this then. You got my choice of the store shelves, potential customers start visiting your store. Please restock. Sure. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I was literally just two cans. Okay, that's not what I quite envisioned in my mind. I thought there was going to be like a box of stuff. Well. So be it. I mean, we're only just testing out for the demo anyways. You just found a laptop. You can now manage everything in your laptop. Please switch to laptop mode. P press enter for more details. What's the okay, laptop mode is from here. So look, we can now open the store. Uh, room service. Store. Restaurant. Obviously, we don't have these things unlocked anyway, so I can't do anything with them. Game rotation upgrade to level 2 motels to unlock pet-friendly rooms. Ooh. That's an interesting uh, scenario here. Okay, we can actually set our price a bit higher. We've got to remember, got to keep an eye on this. This will change. People are coming. Oh, Jesus, there's people everywhere. How does this work? You can use cash register when customers are waiting to register, scan all the items, and the customer will pay. Okay, is it?
They clearly need to order a lot more things. Your motel has leveled up. Your motel has been upgraded. This is bringing many benefits. A room type that potentially will unlock. Please refer to the room unlocking conditions. Okay, that's fine. We do actually have a new room. Pet friendly room unlock. Ah, oh, so we can actually build new things too. Pet friendly room is now unlocked. People love pets and are willing to spend money on pets. Pet friendly room is profitable and very popular, but it's restricted by season. Oh, it's not restricted. Each type of room is a unique setup to meet the needs of the upcoming guests. All right, well, we'll have a look at that in a second. All right, let's just close the store for uh, a second. Now, without staff, this this will get pretty damn hectic, I think, because, I mean, you just open up the motel and look at these people, like animals. The price is too high, but you still paid. Oh, oh Jesus, it literally just dropped. Oh, that was uh, unforeseen. It means we're going to get a bad review, doesn't it? Right. Purchase one new axe. Okay, so I've got to purchase an axe. Upgrade. Online. Tools. Alright, let's just get some of them. Probably going to need some of these chew toys. A couple of towels. Alright, we'll, we'll just take whatever we need. Uh, let's just get... Uh, Can I just type in a number? No. Yeah, it looks like we'll need some pet food. Hotel guests also want to buy things from your store. This may place room service orders. Please deliver... Oh, God. What if I don't have things? Okay, axe mode. That's fine. We haven't got, we haven't got to that stage yet. Somebody wants a homemade cake. People standing there. There's people everywhere. Please go away. Homemade cake. Oh, switch to hand mode. Alright, who wants... Who wanted this? Aha! Okay, so we do room service as well. We do everything here. Hang on. Let's just sort out whatever this situation is. Okay, so we'll move everything over there. And now once we go in axe mode, choose an unclear room for construction zone and cut it down. Alright, okay. This is cool. Maybe I use this wood to build the room. So it looks like we can construct RV parks, parking lot, bus stop, rooms. There is so much to this game. I am so impressed even just for the demo that there's so much around and showing us what they want to do and what they're going to do man i am seriously excited about this one this is definitely going to be a, a must-have i think and it flew really much under the radar i don't know did any of you guys hear about this before or not but it's uh definitely needs to be added to a wish list i think Okay, first half price, switch to construction tool mode and build a new pet friendly. Okay. So this is my pet friendly lodge. Do I need to move these wood? Okay. 
Okay, I didn't. They're clearly we're gonna be in the way. Now obviously we could probably use this to burn the fuel thing, couldn't we? I'd imagine that's what you'd do with these chopping these down. Right, anyways, let's not worry about that for the minute. I need 25 wood. I need to chop down more trees if I like it or not. Now I wonder, do I need to put the wood in the, uh, the cabinet? It's pretty cool that we use this as the, the building material. Okay, congratulations, you built a new room. You'll find a new room key in the storage area. To make this room available, don't forget to furnish room and put the room supplies. Also, feel free to paint anything on the walls. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Is it going to be dirty inside? Yeah, I was going to say, it better not be. Actually, looks alright in here. Okay. Let's just set up this pet friendly room before we finish today, because it's something that we definitely need to have a look at. Whoa. Yeah, they weren't very happy about the price. The price is still dropped. Anyways, let's let's worry about them for a second. Let's um I was going to furniture then. Pet friendly needs a two seat sofa. Okay, uh bathware. So this needs um Oh my god. Well, we'll just get a shower. Uh, it needs a coffee table. Going all out in this room, isn't we? Uh, coffee table, and it still needs a lamp of some sort. Something there better in the corners. We need a nightstand. What kind of bed goes in this one? Queen bed. Where is the nightstand? Right, queen bed first, anyways. I've got... I thought I had one of these still in stock. Electricity costs money, you receive electricity bill every three days. Oh god, there's everything in this game. Okay, we'll get the queen bed. And then I need the nightstand. Uh, let's get two of them. We need a pet accessory. Um, cat tree. Queen bed we got. A uh, sink and a toilet. Jesus, that cost a thousand. How much money do I have left? Eighty-two dollars. Holy moly! Hey, did I already clean this room? Okay, no, they've actually just left it pretty clean. It's just got nice soap. If you put more than one in here, will they use it. Oh god. There's some lovely people in that room and pigs in this room. Okay, room three we never even got to, so that's fine. Did buy things for the shop here, didn't we?
I mean, at least then it's not in the storage, so it's probably best that way. A bit dark in it. Click on the laptop to what, what services 50 quid for the garbage collection. Where does our bill come in for the electricity? It didn't say. Okay. Okay, so we need a pet room, and so we'll start with the queen bed. Why don't you have one of each? Right, let's put it up here. Pet accessory we got was you. Nightstand, I got two of you. I like that it's not about how much you put in the room. It's it's now more about time of the year, that kind of stuff. I think it's pretty cool. There you go. Probably could do more than one lamp in here. Uh, bathware. Two seat sofa. We do have a coffee table. Okay, decoration wise, I do have some things. Thunder lamp, thunder nightstand, thunder pet, queen uh, sink. And a toilet. Okay. Dirty towels, uh, get dirty, you can be thrown all over the room, don't forget to collect them and wash them in the washing machine, okay. Right, that means this is open and we need the pet friendly room, it's time to set a price to help two guests check in with their pets. How do we change the pet room? Okay, so we can get about 180 a day at the moment. Well, we could have gone a bit more, but look, we're going to be really cheap to try and get some customers in here very quickly, as this is where I want to end this now. I said don't want to go too much into it because this is something I'm really looking forward to. Hopefully it doesn't get played to death too much. Uh, call John. Pick up new dress. Okay, nice. We'll wait for the people to arrive. Where's the light switch in here? There's a stranger at the parking lot. What the hell is that? Ooh, wild mushrooms. Maybe we can cook them. Oh, hello. Would you like to use my establishment for something? Oh, my hands aren't empty. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm a special agent. I can provide a special service that would be memorable for your guest. Oh, God. Lots of SharePoint, and it was exactly what I thought it was going to be. Uh, <laughs> man, how's if we have this opportunity to work together? Uh, can I take a screenshot of that? Oh, God, I've got to put it. I'll be at work in a few minutes. Okay. Now you have a special agent services and lot. As your motel's reputation proves, many special agents can join your team and split their earnings with you. You can manage them in the employee section and the motel computer. At the present, the news that your motel's service has spread widely in the area, so please to meet needs of the upcoming guests in a timely manner. Oh, God. All right. I don't know how that's going to work and what that does yet, but did not see that coming. Okay, you just want a couple of hours. There you go. You need a pet friendly area. Bring in Doggo. I don't know how those two are sharing a room. I don't know if I want to know. 
Right, how does the services thing work then, please? Special agents show you the agents that have hired the rooms that require the services of the agent. Okay, so room orders. There is currently no one. She charges 110 for 15 minutes. Jesus. Things things are getting expensive. Right. Alright, we ignore that for a moment. I, I definitely want to see that work to some extent. I suppose some people might think this is a bit simplified. I don't mind this actually because there's so much going on. Okay, so nobody wants this new service yet. Room orders one, not assigned. Okay. Oh, I've got to see this. Oh, my secret agent's in there doing shifty stuff. I wonder if we're going to see her walk out. Oh, here she comes. Yeah, I got another stranger. Who's this fella? Hi, I'm the local health officer. We require regular inspect the sanity conditions of your local business. Don't mind if we take a look around the common areas of the motel. Okay, so we've got people inspecting us. Cool, okay, we, we did all right with some money off that special agent, didn't we? That is definitely the way to make money. Who would have guessed? Who just gave me their key back? Room one. No, room two. Okay, so look, I'm going to leave this today because I'm going to get addicted. Um, there are some really cool things here with this game. I uh, can't wait to see where the development goes. You know, remember this is only an early demo as well. Um, really excited about this one. I think this could be uh, definitely a big one for the start of the year uh, next year. Wild mushrooms we can cook, that's fine. Make some mushroom broth or something, I don't know. Um, does anybody else need any services? No. Alright, yeah, so there you go. Well, did not expect in that. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. It's a bit of a long video. I hope you stuck around to see it and see what this game's all about. Um, it's going to be a real interesting one for sure. Uh, subscribe if you're new, hit the like bell, and other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.